Yeah, and it, it made all the news, right? Like a Tesla charge apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> You know what else is actually really funny this week that we saw? So, you know, most of the U.S., I think, had this freezing weather uh, come around this week, right? Like, it was yep. it was really frozen ar- around around time. And, and in Houston, people freak out once it starts, you know, it gets to 30 degrees and people start freaking out. They start canceling school. I think they did cancel school a couple yeah, days I this mean, week. I mean, it is snow, right? A couple, couple of days is snow. Yeah, so in I some mean, areas. when we say it snowed, it's like you saw white on the floor. That's pretty much it. It's not like <laughs> I mean, it's layers of snow, it, and most likely it was just ice too. You know, it's, dude, uh, but even even one inch of snow, it would make like the whole city stop because oh, like, we yeah, don't have sure. we don't have anything. <laughs> like like literally, there is no salt. There is nothing, and it becomes uh, a thin ice, right? Like literally, like the street so it is very dangerous uh, as well over here in houston because we are not used to that type of weather yeah so we get a little goofy around that but you know this time around it wasn't just us in houston that were freaking out with the weather it's a lot across the country people were freaking out because their teslas <laughs> weren't charging for some reason so like apparently i guess once it gets to a certain temperature like teslas aren't able to charge very easily or very well or very efficiently so you had all these different charging stations that had just piles and piles of, of teslas that, that couldn't charge did you see this yeah, and it, it made all the news, right? Like a Tesla charge apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. It's like, oh, no. Well, I mean, but, you know, <laughs> charge apocalypse, I love it. But, um, uh, do you, like, what are people supposed to do with these Teslas? I, and I will say from my experience, Breaks. this is just... Cold what? bricks. Oh. <laughs> Cold bricks. <laughs> That's I mean, a he- heavy desk weight right there. Dude, yeah. that, that will that mm-hmm. will be tough, right? Like, uh, you are literally going out and suddenly your car is like, or even draining, the battery is draining, right? So uh, mm-hmm. a bunch of problems with that. Uh, it is tough. I think that um, uh, the company Tesla, or even all of the electric vehicles, they're going to have to resolve that issue. Um, yeah. Because all of these, they have like a chemicals internally, lithium or uh, whatever is the, the chemical that they have. And, and yeah, they, they when they change in temperature or uh, it's, it's tough. I think that uh, that was a miscalculation um, because we saw a lot of cars like that. Yeah. So I'm just curious. I'm, I'm assuming they have to have some type of insulation or something. Like, like they would know that this is going to be a potential issue. They do cold weather testing, right? So they know people are going to be in zero degree weather or even negative degree weather. Um, I wonder if they put up any type of warning on the on the car. Like, did were people prepared? Like, did they realize, hey, they're not going to be able to charge, or or did their battery just drain? Like, in my instance, uh, we weren't we weren't at home during the um, during the whole freeze. We were at my mother in law's, and um, so we had the car just sitting outside. And I did over like a day or two. Mm-hmm. Um, sitting on the drive, we lost fifty miles of range. Now, if we had, if we didn't have, uh, you know, a, a full enough charge there, we could have also been left stranded also there. So we lost a lot of um, range, about 50 miles. Uh, so that was really interesting. I wasn't expecting that. Usually we lose a little bit of range because we have what's called sentry mode on where it's always kind of recording on the cameras. So you mm-hmm. can see when someone goofy goes and tries to scratch a car, or there's, <laughs> which people do that a lot, or people really? just slam their doors open <clears throat> into your car but they you don't do maybe... it on purpose it's just that the texans mm. have a big ass truck and you just open the door <laughs> you're <laughs> right but but there's a whole there's a whole reddit sub of of uh tesla cams that capture people look obviously doing stuff on purpose there is one that i saw recently it's a dude that jumps up onto the tesla and runs over it <laughs> There's a lot of people that hate Tesla or like hate what it represents or maybe or, or Elon, Elon, right? It's just or like, Elon. like yeah, so dude, they're like I just like their cars, right? Like <laughs> How do you see them or what 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 is the what is uh, the whole purpose? 
Well, I mean, it really is. So you can see if someone's messing with a car on the app, it gives you the opportunity to see or to talk like on the speaker, like, hey, mm. get the fuck away from my car. Or, <laughs> or you could, there's, hey, a, GTA <laughs> or there's a, a horn, a horn that you can press. That's a fart, fart noise. I like that one too. That one's pretty funny. <laughs> or a goat. I think there's a goat one that goes. How, how, uh, how high goes the sound? Like, uh, Oh, it's loud. Uh, yeah, it's loud. loud. Yeah, okay. so like uh, if I let's say I'm going to pick up my mom from her mm -hmm. home, like I'm taking her to lunch or something, I can push it on the car and she'll hear the goat going from outside <laughs> and know that I'm there. <laughs> Do you got also la cucaracha? La cucaracha. Yes, la cucaracha. It does. I got that one too. Um, oh, but you know what's actually kind of cool is that they added the ability to load uh, custom sounds now. That was just in a recent update. So I haven't, I haven't done one yet, but I'm trying to figure out what would be a cool sound. Maybe I'll go, Dale. <laughs> <laughs> obviously. Dale, Dale. Obviously. <laughs> but uh, the person might get like a piñata, man. It's like to start, Dale, yeah, Dale. I know, right? <laughs> Hopefully not. <laughs> They're gonna grab your Tesla like a piñata. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, so anyways, I bet you a bunch of people that were in this charge apocalypse they wanted to do that to their Tesla because they were out there stuck in the middle of nowhere, uh, freezing weather. I mean, what did they do? I mean, they didn't have I to mean, get it towed or just have like to hang all out of the ball, car. right? Like, yeah, you right? have to like or whenever they yeah they came back, but uh, yeah, I, I would be pissed. Yeah. Uh, if that would happen, right? So I'm still, still debating, right? I'm waiting for my cyber truck. Uh, I'm in the and in the queue, right? Like maybe in five uh, years. <laughs> oh, by the way, like speaking of cyber truck, so right now, okay, so we haven't we haven't really talked too much about it, but um, let me fill in folks on kind of what's going on with it. So right now they introduced this uh, founders edition, basically. And it's like, uh, hey, you can uh, pay $20,000 extra and you can get a Founders Edition truck. And I mentioned like you get basically some extra floor mats and you get a little design logo on your bumper. And that's pretty much <laughs> sure. it for 20K. But um, <clears throat> what they're doing is they're going through the queue, right, of people that put in their orders and offering it to them. Hey, do you want... Do you want your, your cyber truck now as a founder's edition? And people have the opportunity to say, no, I want to wait for the normal edition so you don't have to pay the 20K. But those mm -hmm. that are willing to pay the extra 20K, they can get their cyber truck. Right now, I think they're just doing the dual motor. They're not doing the cyber beast yet. I think it's just dual motor, uh, founder's edition. So if you're willing to, to buy that, so it's 100K, if you're willing to put the 100K for that, for that version of the truck, you're able to purchase it. Right now, they are in. They're working through their way through the queue. Um, my number's almost coming up. Uh, right now, it's like one one two eight five. The first numbers uh, of your reservation number um, that they're up to, and I'm at one one two eight nine. So maybe within the next uh, month or so, I'll probably get the opportunity to buy one. I don't know if I want to spend the extra twenty k. Um, it doesn't sound worth it, but uh, maybe the only <clears throat> the only reason would be if you can get it now, right? Like your yeah uh, your track. So maybe it might be well because there is even some people that they were like like they were selling them on on eBay and things like that, right? So uh, you know uh, it would be interesting, yeah. But it's not worth it. It's only those if it's like yeah. literally some floor mats. Nah. <laughs> yeah, well, I think they give you FSD also. But, you know, I think uh, when what I did that? my reservation, the full self-driving, which doesn't mm. work yet, right? Um, um, for, I had already reserved it, or when I made my reservation, it was supposed to be for 7K. So, you know, it's not, it doesn't go up to the full 20K price. Like, I don't see the value there, right? Other than you get it early. I think that's really the the main value that you get. But I was looking, I say, okay, well, if it comes down to it, I don't know. Let me make a comparison. So I found a Lambo to buy. It actually looked pretty nice. Uh, it's a little baby Gallardo um, Lamborghini, a blue a baby one. Baby Gallardo. <laughs> <laughs> and look, it looked pretty nice. So I don't know. <laughs> and and it's actually close to the same price that 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 Cyber Truck would be. So I'm still weighing. I don't know. 
I'm not sure if I'm quite there yet, especially when it feels like, yeah, man, they they overpromise, underdelivered, stuff like that. But the Cybertrucks are looking pretty cool, so I will give them that. I've seen a lot of people posting their videos of uh, their their uh, wrapping. You know, you've seen the matte black. I've seen some uh, metallic red. Um, these are looking pretty cool. Uh, so I don't know. It it could be more fun to have the truck than than the get both. Car. <laughs> or get both. Yeah. Well, mm, I'd have one to for, wait for one the, for the Bitcoin one. to pop a little bit more. <laughs> Yeah, so well, that's all we've got uh, for Billionaire Watch today, and uh, and actually that's all we've got for uh, for today. So if you liked our content today, just remember to like, subscribe, comment. Again, we love we love the interaction. We love bringing um, our watchers into the show as well. So um, we've got um, a lot. To we talk love about all of next Eric's time. haters too. <laughs> the Eric, which Eric? This Eric or that Eric? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's true. So whether you love us or hate us, uh, please comment, and we'll get back to you. We'll we'll mention y'all next time. All right. We'll 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 see y'all again uh, in a, in a week. Dale. All right. Dale. Bye.